if you've ever wanted to get your YouTube videos to the first page of Google without having to write any content, I'm going to show you exactly how to do that in this video. I've been testing and tweaking AI YouTube SEO hacks and they've finally been working for me. So let's go ahead and jump in and show you exactly how you can do the same. All right. So first of all, who am I? My name is Eddie and I've been creating content on two different channels since 2020 when this personal brand is pretty new here, but I have been ranking YouTube videos on the first page of Google and testing out my method and seeing if it's working and it does really well right now. So on the left hand side, I do have my credit repair niche that I do have videos from 2021 all the way to 2023 that are still ranking on Google. And I also have this new personal brand site that you're watching that is currently also getting views from Google search and also YouTube browse. So I've been using AI to help me record, edit and publish my content faster and even help me with my script outlining. And I'm going to show you what I'm going to be doing throughout this entire process. Here is the exact YouTube SEO strategy and I hope that this will be easy for you to understand. So number one, we're going to find trending topics using AI and you can also do free manual methods by finding trends. We're going to go through creating a simple video and I'm also going to show you why it's important to say the topic or the keywords in the intro and throughout your content. I'm also going to show you how to optimize and create a long form video description with AI that also matches your style. We're also going to add relevant tags and I'm also going to show you how to add related keywords. Then we're going to publish the video and then share it on different platforms. All right, so let's go ahead and get started with the first process. So number one, we're going to use AI to spot trends early. And why does this really matter? Well, identifying trending topics before they blow up makes it easier to rank content. Meaning if you find content that your competitors haven't written about or just anyone yet, and this gives you an opportunity to write that post or publish that YouTube video, and you'll notice that you'll have a lot better chance of ranking on the first page of Google. So my favorite tools for doing this process is using exploding topics, meet glimpse, or just using trend tracking tabs on social media platforms. So how to use these tools effectively, you're going to want to make sure that you always filter your results. You're going to check the search volume, competition and growth, and then you want to act fast on those high potential topics. So getting in early on a trend will make the biggest difference for you. So let's go ahead and jump in and show you how I find these trends. All right, so let's jump into the first tool, which is Glimpse. And Glimpse, the reason why I want to talk about this first is because they have like a free plan that allows you to use 10 credits per month. And that should be good enough to get started. So what you're going to do is you're going to go into Glimpse, which is completely built on top of Google Trends. So if I click on this little tab here, you're going to see that it looks very familiar. But let's go ahead and toggle this back on. And from here on the free version, again, you can do 10 searches per month. When I click on here, what you want to do is either type in your niche or whatever industry that you're in. So let's say, for example, I want to do AI. So let's just do AI. From here, we're going to get some information based on the monthly search volume over time. And this is going to give us a lot of data. But what you want to look at is the bottom section here where it says people also search. And since this is built on Google Trends and also uses other data, you'll be able to really find unique products or tools or companies that you can promote before your competition does. By clicking on any of these products here, we can see that they might be an opportunity for us to talk about. You can also change or sort by the growth and also by the keyword difficulty. Competition is another good one too. So there's a bunch of different information or tools here that I could probably talk about. And as long as you filter it correctly, you'll be able to find a trending tool. So let's jump in and find one. Okay, so I'm looking at AI lawyer and this one's uh, kind of like a niche topic since it's it is AI, but it's also kind of like in the legal space. I'm going to go ahead and enter it here. It looks like it's kind of growing. It started growing rapidly from 2022 and then I got a huge spike and then it's still gradually growing. So I'm going to see if they have an affiliate program. So they do have like a product, which is a personal AI legal assistant and they have an affiliate program, which is great. So from here, Let's say I want to promote them and I want to become an affiliate. The next thing you can do is check to make sure that there's like no other companies that are making YouTube videos about them. So AI lawyer review. And yeah, this is a really good sign. So I can make a video review or just talking about AI lawyer products and promote them in my video. So we can use that one for an example. Perfect. So just in case I want to show you guys exploding topics. So this one is a paid tool. Um, it's a little bit more expensive, definitely, and they don't they have a 14 day free trial, which you can definitely use and then cancel before. I would say that it is probably one of the most expensive tools out there. So it kind of works very similar to Glimpse. So you can see here you can look at the trend database. 
And depending on your niche, you can do health and wellness, home, let's say you're in the personal care niche. Here, you can sort by the different growth trend lines or discover date. What is really important is you want to change the time frame. So let's just do like six months. Then you can also change it by whether you want to find branded topics or non-brand. But here we have a bunch of unique things here. So that one is funny. But, you know, we have uh, LED lip therapy devices that we could probably promote. We have uh, Milton sterilizing fluid. I don't know what that is. Uh, pheromone soap. So there's a bunch of different things here that we could talk about. You know, zinc chewables. So that that's just in the personal care space. They also have a trending startups uh, category filter where you can change this and find AI tools. They also have one for e-commerce. So you can find tools in the e-commerce niche and you can also filter based on pricing and all that good stuff. So from here, try to find something that's in your space. You can filter by the categories and let's say you're in the fitness niche. Uh, and then these are things that you could probably talk about and just do what I did earlier, where you go to Google and try to see if anyone is already creating videos on that. So that's that. Another good one is thief.co, which is for physical products. So at the very bottom here, you'll be able to find a list of unique products. So let's say you're in the outdoors niche. From here, you can see if there's any tools or products that you could probably kind of get ideas from. Maybe look, those, look these up on Amazon or TikTok shop and go from there. But we have like splash proof picnic rubs. We have luxury strong umbrellas. So these are topics or things that you could probably search for and create a video on. All right, so now that you have your video topic, you wanna to make sure that you create amazing content. And no, you don't need crazy editing skills. You do not need a high-end camera. You can really use your phone. You could use a, a borrowed camera. You could use a uh, Amazon mic or just keep it really simple and don't overthink this process. But some of the key points here that I wanna talk about is you need to understand user retention signals. So. In the beginning of this video, you obviously saw me kind of have like a hook or an intro. Then I also talked about what you're going to learn. And I feel like to me and to my audience, that kind of builds trust. And I want you to watch this entire training, right? So when you're doing product reviews or you're doing like list type of posts or you're talking about something specific, you want to make sure that you can have some kind of value, uh, a hook and potentially an offer at the end, whatever you're selling. But just try to really portray what the audience is going to receive and get them hooked in the very beginning. So make content that your audience also needs. So don't just be creating random content. And the good thing about what I taught you with finding trends using AI is that these things do have search volume and they're growing rapidly. You also want to make sure that you grab the attention in the first 30 seconds and just tease what's coming up. So if you're doing like a product review and you find a really good one, you could do the beginning such as like, hey, if you want to get these kind of results and then show the result, then say you keep watching to the end of this video because you're going to learn exactly how to do this just by watching this video or, you know, something similar to that. You always want to use very simple pattern interrupts. You want to keep people engaged with stories and also keep having, you know, specific questions at the end of the video or get point them to another video. But essentially what you want to do is you want to make sure that you keep your viewer engaged and have very light editing. You don't need to do anything crazy uh, like you see in my videos. You can add really simple graphics. You can add a little bit of B-roll and you can also add some music to kind of entertain your audience so it's not like quiet and this will really help making sure that they watch the full video. So with that said, you also want to have a strong call to action about the product and make sure that if you are like an affiliate that you end up saying that you are um, promoting the product and that you're an affiliate. But overall, just have a regular or strong CTA. Next, you want to optimize your content with AI. So you want to create keyword rich video descriptions using AI tools and you can use free models such as Claude or even ChatGPT. Then once, once you've done that, you want to generate a viral title idea that is at least less than 60 characters that features your main keyword or the topic that you are talking about. You can also design very simple and unique thumbnails using Canva, and that is a freemium tool. Or if you have Photoshop, you can also use Photoshop. From there, you can include primary keywords, related keywords, your category tags to help YouTube understand your video. And again, this is really why it's important when you are creating your topic that you say the topic in the intro or the keywords. From there, we're going to distribute your video 
across social media platforms. So let's go ahead and jump in and show you what that process looks like in order to optimize your content. All right, so there's a few ways you can grab a transcript so you can have a perfectly optimized YouTube description. So number one, when you're uploading your video, you can make it unlisted. When this happens, YouTube is gonna create a transcript of your video and you can go ahead and copy or grab a share link here when it's unlisted. Then you can go to youtubetranscript.com and from here you can copy the URL, paste it, and then you'll grab your entire transcript here. So get a copy of your entire transcript and then go into an AI tool like Claude or ChatGPT if you're paying on the paid plan. So let's say you don't wanna do that through the unlisted, most of your editing or video editing software tools are going to have a speech to text option. So you wanna make sure that you have an SRT file that you can go ahead and export as a PDF. And you can either put that into Claude and use a PDF, or you can grab your YouTube transcript. Let's go ahead and jump in here and go ahead and create a mini little blog post in the video description that contains all of the keywords and that is SEO friendly. All right, cool. So we have the transcript added and I said, write a blog post that is optimized for the keyword prompt engineering course, use an eighth grade reading level and zero complex words. Try to also include bullet points where it makes sense and use semantic keywords. The transcript is pasted. So I'll go ahead and use this here and it's gonna spit out a really good SEO optimized little mini blog post that you can include in your YouTube video description. And the purpose for this is because I want to make sure that any of the keywords or data is relevant to what I'm also saying and that what Google or YouTube can pick up and this can help potentially get my video on the first page of Google rankings. So this is pretty good. Um, it says, are you tired of getting lackluster results from AI writing tools? This free prompt engineering course will teach you how to do that. Here's what you're gonna learn, the key concepts of prompt engineering. In this step-by-step -step course, you'll discover prompt engineering, uh, what it is and why it matters. So this is really, really powerful. And you can add this into your video. So I think this is a really good way to get that started and really just use this to get on the first page of Google. The next step is I always ask for automatic chapters. So uh, based on the time, you want to say, now that you have my transcript, give me SEO friendly timestamps or chapters that I can include for my video. And obviously you want to give it like the minutes. So let's say 18, 20, just for an example. And from there, it's going to go ahead and spit out a pretty decent YouTube timestamp or chapters. So it says introduction to the prompt engineering course. What is prompt engineering? Uh, examples, poor versus optimized outputs, fine tuning. This one might be a little too long for the timestamps, but so you can go ahead and change it. But uh, and you might need to tweak a little bit of the times. But overall, this is pretty good. And the next thing I do is go ahead and say, give me 25 keyword tags to include. So this is going to also give us some t keyword tags that we can include. So prompt engineering, fine tuning, chain prompting, things that I've said from my transcript. So do this and go ahead and add this into your YouTube video. All right, next up, I have my Canva design. So I keep this really simple and I also use AI uh, tools to help me with Canva. So I try to make this as simple as possible and templatize it. So from here, I kind of make a copy and I can change my image. So let's say I took a new picture and I can go to uploads. I can grab this picture here. And then from here, I'll go to edit image. Then I'll click on background removal then it's gonna remove my entire background and then I can go to shadows and I can add a shadow effect. So let's go to glow and I'm gonna make it like a kind of bluish color. I'm gonna make it blurry and then drop the intensity. Then I'm gonna size it up and I can do that there. So it looks good. Then I can say learn prompt engineering and boom, that's kind of like how I make my YouTube videos, uh, my thumbnails and it's really simple. So what I do next is, I don't know if I'm crazy for doing this, but then I click on share, I hit download and I make sure that the page says the topic of the title because when you upload into that YouTube, it also has that in integrated. And from my understanding, Google and YouTube pick up all of that data, uh, the metadata. So I make sure that it also has the same topic or keyword in the thumbnail or downloadable uh, image. Last but not least, you can also just verify if you have like the right title. You can also say something like, now give me five insanely viral title ideas based on my topic and sometimes it will give you some other unique video titles that could go viral so this is really good okay so the number number one of them is the one prompt engineering trick that skyrocketed my ai content quality 
AI experts hate this prompt engineering hack. So some of them are pretty good. If you think one is better, you can go ahead and include that instead of using yours. But as long as it includes the top, the topic or the title that you originally found, you will be okay. So that is like my process of how I publish and also optimize my YouTube videos. All right, so next we got repurposing our content using AI. So now that we've already grabbed our transcript or if you just wanna go ahead and do that at a later time, grab your transcript and then you can use that to repurpose on different platforms. And then for each, have a simple call to action that points back to your YouTube video. And you can do this across all social media. So let's go ahead and jump in and show you kind of how I do that process. So now that we're back into this chat here, you guys already know that we have the transcript, the topic, a blog post, and we can turn this into a newsletter. We can turn this into a X or Twitter thread. We can do this into a LinkedIn post. It could be a Reddit or Quora question. Just, you could do whatever you want with this, but you need to make sure that you are doing your prompting correctly. So just in case you can also watch my prompt engineering course if you haven't, but make sure that you use and fine tune that prompt. So let's go ahead and try one out together. All right, so for this example, I'm saying now based on my transcript and topic, Create a LinkedIn post that is actionable to the viewer. Keep an eighth grade reading level and use line breaks. Don't use any cringiness or don't use a cringy hook in the beginning and then also have a soft call to action to the YouTube video. I could even say something like uh, write in the structure of Justin Welsh or Ali Abdal and let's see what happens. Sweet. So this is actually not that bad. So it's saying, are you using AI writing tools but feeling frustrated with the output? I was too until I discovered the power of prompt engineering. In my latest video, I share a free course that teaches you the exact process I use to craft highly effective AI prompts, simple techniques like fine tuning and chain prompting, real world examples, tips for troubleshooting your prompts. By the end of the video, you'll have a clear framework for getting better results with an AI writing assistant. No more wasting your time or sounding like a generic robot. So overall, I think this is amazing. I promise it'll be the most valuable 18 minutes you spend today. I think that's a really good LinkedIn post. So do that for every single social media platform that you want to. It only took me less than two, three minutes to do this. So that is like my process of using AI. And I know that this helps because it also helps with social signals with Google. So the whole purpose is to get your video ranking on the first page of Google. And you can definitely do this by following this process. All right, so my last little trick or hack is to find similar video ideas using AI. So now that you know this video worked and that it's ranking on Google, you can do this by grabbing your video URL, grab the transcript, and then use that to come up with more topics that are very similar and just dominate the SERPs and also dominate your YouTube browse features for your audience. So if we go back into that same chat, I'm going to say this. Based on my topic, give me five more unique angles on this topic that could go viral. Make sure you include some talking points to help me. So this is what I've been doing and how I've been creating so many articles and videos for you guys, but we have some new ones here. So it's saying the dark side of prompt engineering, so the ethical concerns and potential misuse, prompt engineering versus traditional copywriting, the future of prompt engineering and how to use emerging trends, how I built a successful business with prompt engineering. So these are some video topics that I could potentially use to make more videos on that same topic without having to kind of clash between each other. So try to do this with your videos and you'll see like a huge growth because you're building that audience in that same topic. Perfect, so that is exactly how I create videos that rank on the first page of Google. Uh, was this helpful for you? Did you learn anything? Do you have any questions? Go ahead and drop those in the comment section below and I reply to every single comment. If you do want to learn better prompt engineering, go ahead and watch this video next. Or if you want to learn how to create AI blogs that actually are profitable, you can also watch this video next. So I'll see you guys in those videos. Bye.